of spring In the middle of a field stands a lightning tree It's living so tall from the day it was born For the tree was born in a thunderstorm Grow, grow the lightning tree It's never too late for you and me Grow, grow the lightning tree Never give it too easily You'll have to wait. Just come in, Slugger. Overslept. I thought you was dead or something. Didn't you care? Well, well, I've started laying a plate for breakfast for you, just in case. Show me a minute. Right, we can start then. Bacon and eggs suit your lordship this morning. Bacon and eggs? Oh, what a lovely surprise. Hey. What's this? The postman brought it. No, really? We're full of surprises this morning, aren't we? Hi! Hi! And the next contestant, Miss Follyfoot. Wearing an off-the-head neglige with a tantalising tear on the tongue. <laughs> and now that Miss Follyfoot has joined us, what about Cold eggs and frizzler old bacon. Her fall she starts to muck in art. It's not from your mum, Dora. Yuck. Still, it could have been sluggers, bacon and eggs. Oi, I heard that, cheeky monkey. <laughs> and here's yours, scrumptious. Mm. We don't need it all at once. We need some corn. I'll get it. Oh, don't worry me, old mate. If it's goodies they're after, leave it to your old Uncle Ron. Spread it all out. Something bothering you? Me? No. It's the letter, isn't it? It's from an old school friend. Something very odd. I was wondering if the Colonel would mind her staying with us for a few days. You might put in a good word for me while you're at it. You'll be lucky. Morning, Slugger. Morning, Colonel. Oh, then, Morning, Colonel. Sir, is that all you can manage? But... Hmm. Morning, Dora. Morning, Steve. Oh, you're behind this morning. I overslept. Well, get on with it. Uncle? Yes? I was wondering... Can I ask an old school friend to stay, just for a few days? I've had a letter. Not the oversleeping kind, is she? No. Good. One's quite enough. You didn't tell me you kept horses here. I thought you knew. I know the Colonel keeps them. I thought they were all up at his place. We just have a few. Yeah, we get the scrag ends. Dora's collection of dropouts. Here, I'll, uh, I'll show you around if you like. No. Pardon me, I'm sure. 
Still, I can't say I blame you. Horrible great lot. Oh. Here are your things. We'll, uh, we'll get the rest. There you are, girl. Get yourself around that little lot. Oh, slugs, for heaven's sake. Is that the way to give coffee to a lady? Let me fetch you a saucer, Cleo. It's no trouble. Huh. Saucer it is, saucer. Why can't she drink it straight out of the mud like anybody else? Then we'll pick a horse for you, and I... I don't ride, Dora. Well, no, not now, but after a bit. Oh. I told you, Dora, I don't ride. I never will. Good. Walk on. Good boy. Walk on. You wouldn't think she was once a school riding champion, would you? She won everything. Walk on. Good boy. Walk on, Copper. Showing, jumping. She was great. The girls were madly jealous. Walk on. Walk on. And you? <laughs> More than any of them. <laughs> Whoa. Stand, Copper. Stand. Good boy. Oh, Stan. Good boy. Good boy. I think I'll take him for a canter. Okay. I'll go up slugs, eh? Okay. There we are. What happened, Dora? I mean, she's no schoolgirl champion now, is she? She won't even go near them. I know. I don't understand. Hi. Hi. Never stops, does it? What? Horse work. Oh. Do you know anything about it? About looking after horses, I mean. Are you pretending Dora hasn't said anything about me? Well, no, I... <laughs> That's telling you, isn't it, mate? Shut up, Ron. You're, uh... New year, aren't you, mate? Yeah, well, when you've been here a bit longer, got used to our ways, you'll find we don't go nosy park room where we ain't wanted. See? Ain't that right? while we're mucking out. Makes it so easy. You can't do that when it's raining. What's happened, Cleo? Why can't we talk about it? Wouldn't it help? No. Jasmine, that chestnut you rode on prize giving, when you jumped the fence into the visitor's enclosure. I lost my way. I thought the fence was part of the course. And you knocked over a table with the sandwiches. Salmon and cucumber, too. What a memory you have. Gosh, we had fun. You've not seen my horse, have you? Copper. He's beautiful. Would you like to? Well, I've got to take Stephen Slug of their coffee. Come and say hello. No. No. Well, come and talk to Steve. He wants to apologize. You don't have to look at the horses. They're all in stalls. They can't hurt you. Come on. Where's Steve? Over at the Colonel's place, collecting another horse. I ask you. Where are we going to put them all? Oh, we'll find you. Oh, what are they? Traps. But they're not used now, are they? They're used all right. Poachers, vandals. We had a horse lose its leg once. One of them things. Oh, slugger. Say hello to Copper. 
No, I I'm all right here. Dora, it was silly of me. For a moment, I, I thought it was Galahad. Galahad? Who's Galahad? My sister's horse. The one... The one? The horse that trampled her. Trampled? He tried to kill her. What happened? You won't believe it. Diane didn't like horses. In fact, I think she hated them. But I rode, so she had to ride. I had a horse, so she had to have a horse. I think if I'd had a wooden leg. She treated Galahad horribly. I could get Jasmine to do anything. If you're kind, there's no animal more eager to show gratitude. It's true, isn't it? What Jasmine did to please me, Diane tried to make Galahad do, by force. Oh, day after day, Dora, I tried to tell her. In the end, Galahad was so frightened, he'd shake, he'd actually shake with fear whenever Diane went near him. The other week, we were out riding. Galahad took her to the top of a hill. There are lots of rocks there, he walked into the middle of them, and he threw her off. I jumped down and ran across, but before I could get there, Galahad trampled on her. He seemed to be kicking her. He tried to kill her. Oh, come on, you're imagining things. As I got to where she was lying on the ground, Galahad came for me. His eyes were red, Dora. He reared. I, I ran away. Some men went up. I don't know if he attacked Diane again or not. She was unconscious. Her ribs, her arms, face. And Galahad. They shot him. I don't believe it. So you keep saying. Do you? Well, something scared her. Dora, have you ever heard of a horse that... They're not like that, Dora. It was panic, what do you bet? I've seen it a dozen times. Do you know what this one's called? No. It's called Caesar. Why is he here? He's a hunter. But you've given up jumping, haven't you, lad? He lost his nerve. The Colonel wants me to school him. Wants you to? Do you mind? It can be tricky. I usually do the tricky ones. I know, Dora. I'm not trying to... Anyway, I think Cleo ought to take him on. Cleo? 
Yeah. Caesar and Cleopatra. Hey. They were made for each other. They both lost their nerve. They can both get it back again. Together. You won't get her near him. We'll find a way. We'll get them together if it's the last thing we do. We could hypnotize her. Oh, Ron. No, why not? You are the world's champion jockey. And the big race is about to begin. We're trying to be serious, Ron. We could put her in the middle of a desert. And the only way home is on horseback. And you just happen to have a horse handy. Well, yeah. For heaven's sake, Ron, if you can't help, just... <laughs> Here, I'll tell you what. We could shut Caesar in the loo. <laughs> She'd have to go in there sooner or later. Oh, <laughs> Ron! Cleo! Cleo! Can you shut the gate? Caesar's got to yearn for the wide open spaces. It's okay. I'll hold him. Does he still look like Galahad? Even in daylight? Bits, yes. <laughs> I'm just going to groom him. Cleo. I'm sorry for being so nosy. It's all right. You're new here, aren't you? Not really. I went away. Just got back a few days ago. I feel like an intruder. They're very close. Just work and horses. It's a family of strangers. Yeah, that's what it is. Family of strangers. Hey, will you hold him a minute? The door has got the comb. Oh, no, Steve. Oh, come on. He won't hurt you. Thanks. Good. How did you manage it? We just found out we had something in common. Can I borrow the coat? <laughs> Steve, Ron's got a fabulous idea to get Cleo on Caesar. Oh, yeah. Something daft, like hypnotism, I suppose. No, it's good, really. I think it'll work. What is it? Oh, well, it's cunning, see? Very clever. <laughs> I'd bet. Devious mind like yours. Wouldn't expect it to be anything simple. Look, do you want to hear about it or not? Okay. Right. Well then, this is what we do. Oh, are you going out? Copper's a bit frisky. I think I'll take him for a run. Well, we're just going over to the village. Won't be long. Leave it open, your goon. You muck of it up if you shut it. Um, see you later then. Steve, we're off! We're off to the village, girl. Be about 20 minutes. Right.
Rico. Over there. Come on. No, Steve. Come on. No, Steve. For heaven's sake, clearly won't hurt us. Here. We can cut through. You stay there, I'll have a look over here. Dear, dear. Come on, slugs. Let us see what has befallen. I'll go and find the doctor. Yeah. Hey, no, hang about. <laughs> like a dream, eh? <laughs> Hooligans, more like. Their idea of a joke. Yeah, this do. Yeah. Now grab hold. And when I say, pull it clear. Right. Hold on, son. This may hurt a bit. Careful, there may be another one. The doctor's on his way. He is beautiful. Right. Right. Easy, lad, easy. Go and look out for the doctor. Lie still, son, lie still. We'll soon have you fixed up now. Oh. Stay, son. Oh, yeah. lucky there ain't nothing broke. We had horse once. Oh, slugger, don't. It's bad enough. Bad enough it's me, eh? But if it had been a horse... Oh. You're impossible, Dora. Hey, it sounds like Ron. He will be. Nothing broken, thank goodness. You found Caesar then? Yes, munching happily. No idea what trouble he's caused. He had you worried then, didn't he? Uh, Steve, I mean. Well, I mean, he's sort of one of the family, isn't he? Yes. Yes, one of the family. 
the wind in the west. The light in the street plays thoughts and the tears. It's hard when snap when it's a good rap. The terrible rap of the thunder clap. Stay on nine now for the Aussie Ostrich Video Show. And at six o'clock tonight, you're one of the gang in Happy Days. Join the fun as the boys go cruising for dates. For those who fail to score, the penalty is a visit to the drive-in restaurant without clothes. Uh-huh. Make sure you're there for Happy Days, six o'clock tonight, here on nine.